Thanks, Pete. Yeah, I'm down here with, uh, well, a very casual-looking Carsten Ball, especially after his uh, fantastic singles win yesterday. <laughs> nice shoes, Carsten. And uh, how did you pull up? Uh, yeah, good. Uh, pulled up great. Um, still preparing and came out and hit this morning on the court. It's even better today. And uh, look forward to cheering the boys on in the doubles. And when was the decision made, Leighton, in f for yourself to play with Paul today? Uh, after the singles, after we went back and had some dinner, uh, it was a team discussion, and, and uh, that, that was the outcome. Well done. I think um, a great opportunity to play here in, in singles uh, yesterday. When did you get told? I mean, how much time did you get to really think about it? We saw you know, Bernard get his chance in Melbourne. You get your chance here. It must have been just a great feeling to be uh, sort of called to step up and play singles when you probably expected at the start of the week just to be playing doubles. Yeah, it was great. Um, I got uh, the call up Wednesday night, so uh, Thursday was a bit of a, a stressful day, but everybody helped me through it and had some, some good practice and good preparation, Then that gave me even more confidence to go in and play my match. Tell us about having an unbeaten record in Davis Cup. Is it more pressure when you go out there? Oh, no. If anything, it just gives me uh, more confidence and self-belief that I've won uh, some matches for us. This is the first singles live rubber, but, uh, you know, a win's a win, I guess, so I'll take it. In a lot of ways, you've sort of been described by some as a, a late developer. I mean, tennis players develop at all different rates. Some excel when they're 18, 19. Some play their best tennis in their mid-20s. You're probably one win away at a sort of an ATP tour event, you know, cutting that ranking in half. Do you feel you're sort of getting close to that? We saw you make the final in Los Angeles uh, last year. Do you think you can sort of repeat that this year? Yeah, I uh, had a couple of good results last year and... Uh you know, that'll just gain uh, more confidence in the, in the bigger tour levels and uh, hopefully I can start uh, doing well in those on a consistent basis. Tell us about the match yesterday. Pretty comfortable in the end, but definitely it's still a fight. Uh, yeah, it was. I was feeling comfortable out there uh, from the very first point, but um, yeah, I knew he was going to be a tough player on this court. It's a little tough for me, but uh, yeah, I was just looking forward uh, to trying every game and it came through in the end. That's about the Aussie crowd. It was quite a loud, uh, loud support for me getting right behind you, particularly towards the end. And you got it. You got into it. It was. It was. It was great. Um, you know, I felt uh, the crowd, you know, cheer me on more and more as the match went on. And uh, it was great atmosphere. The night match. You know, Davis Cup live rubber singles can't get much better than that. So, it's a fantastic result. Well done. And uh, good luck for the rest of the European clay season coming up. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Back to you, Pete.